a UN human rights rapporteur has declared that the world should finally hold Israel accountable for its ongoing settlement strategy in the occupied Palestinian territory, prompting outrage from Jewish leaders and campaigners. On Friday, Michael Link, a UN special rapporteur on human rights in the occupied Palestinian territory, warned the UN Human Rights Council that Israel can no longer carry out its settlement strategy in the occupied West Bank and East Jerusalem with impunity. According to Link, Israeli settlements violate the Fourth Geneva Convention and the Rome Statute because they breach an international convention barring an occupying power from moving a portion of its population to an occupied region. According to Link, the settlements guarantee that the occupied territory will remain under Israeli control in perpetuity and de facto impede the development of a real Palestinian state. The special rapporteur then presented the international community with a plan of action that included a number of steps ranging from supporting an investigation by the International Criminal Court into Israel's alleged crimes to devising a set of accountability measures to bring Tel Aviv in compliance with international law. The Israeli mission to the United Nations in Geneva reacted angrily to the special rapporteur's report. The conclusions were denounced by Israeli diplomats as the latest one-sided and prejudiced study against Israel. They also pointed out that he never cited any infractions perpetrated by Palestinian Authority or the Hamas militant group, which de facto administers the Gaza Strip, in the Palestinian territory. The report was also denounced by the Israeli settlements. Link was branded a national identity thief by Yeshai Fleischer, an international spokesman for the Jewish community of Hebron, a city in the occupied West Bank. Fleischer told Fox News that the Jewish people are original to Judea and that their identity is connected up with this territory. Judea is the traditional name for an area that covers southern Israel and a portion of the occupied West Bank. He also accused the UN Special Rapporteur, a Canadian lawyer, of committing his own war crime by denying Jews history. The story has elicited no response from Washington, Tel Aviv's closest ally. Under previous President Donald Trump, the United States abandoned the UN Human Rights Council, and only recently regained observer status after Vice President Joe Biden expressed his intention to re-engage with the Council. She also pointed out to Fox News that Link's expert assessment contained no one mention to Hamas employing human shields, to any of the Palestinians killed by misfired Hamas rockets, or to any Palestinian having committed any war crime at all. The UN Security Council, the UN General Assembly, the UN Human Rights Council, the International Court of Justice, and many other international organizations and nations consider Israeli settlements in the occupied West Bank to be illegal. Israel opposes this method, citing biblical and historical ties to the area, as well as security concerns. According to Link's estimate, there are currently 300 settlements in occupied East Jerusalem and the West Bank, containing about 680,000 Israeli settlers.